Hello everyone, welcome today. I'm Gobin Gautama. I just wanted to show you quite quickly today just boat posture in yoga because everyone asks me and I want to give it a little bit of detail and a breakdown for you to help. So I hope this does help. So here, I just want to show you straight, straight off the cuff here. I go there and I'm here, my boat posture. I can be up or up and then I can go lower there and then I feel like much more my abs there in that posture and that's your kind of traditional boat posture there for yoga and then also a little bit more up here and that's less in your abs. So to hold it for a long period of time it's not easy. So a lot of things that come up to me when I'm teaching this one is people say oh well my men to feel this in my lower back, my lower back hurts. That's a big no-no. You're not meant to feel this in your lower back at all when you're doing it, okay? It's actually meant to strengthen all your abdominal muscles. So, of course, I just want to show you, I can hold this posture for a really long time where I put a lot of the strain in the abs, where I say 80%, but then I arch my back slightly, and then I have 20% going into the lower back that kind of defeats the object of the, po of the posture. So therefore, you can have a lot of build-ups to this posture, where I can have my hands on, bent legs, I can cough a couple of times <coughs> to engage my inside tummy muscles, inside stomach muscles, then I raise my knees off. Okay, so that's an easier version for you to get into this asana, okay? And then over time, if my hands go off, that becomes a lot more difficult. Before I do that, I can go to fingertip version, fingertips, then to two fingers, then to one fingers to help off, and then go off. Okay, before I would do that here, I can practice getting my legs out straighter, straighter, that puts more strain on my stomach, okay? It wants to be all in the stomach, not into the lower back. So if you feel, okay, I can't hold that anymore in that good posture, a little bit of a break and then continue. Eventually your muscle will come to fatigue, to failure and you can't do any more. But then maybe you could hold it for more if you then did it with a bit of a bad technique, you let some of it go into your lower back, but then you can get lower back pain. So again that's defeating the object of the exercise. So use your brains okay and use your mind to help you to build up into the versions where I can practice the straight leg version here, it's all in the abs, um, and then, okay, I'm bringing it into big fatigue, I can't hold it anymore, I can actually come to a better version where I can put my abs and more into it, um, that's an idea, and then that f comes to failure again, and then you have a rest and break, okay, and then eventually that will help you get into the, the full posture where I'm holding this here, it's all in my stomach, not in my lower back, and then you're training your abs hard and you're getting the most out of the posture. But eventually with this one again, that will come to fatigue and you'll need to have a break, okay? So yeah, sometimes you see people holding it all day long, okay? They're in that posture and they're kind of doing halfway in between, 50 in the stomach, 50 in the lower back. But again, um, that's not the best thing for you. I hope this helps, I hope this makes more sense to, uh, for people training with me and uh, it gives you the right idea and um, keep training and I'll, if you like this video um, tell me, subscribe, share, comment and then I'll start doing some more if um, I'm getting some good feedback with it and it's, it's helping everyone I'll, I could do loads more asanas postures.